And again, I'm just gonna look up at the tops of the trees and feel my seat punch, 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 punch. My elbows are stable. And I just let them kind of feel this new, like big range of motion, a little more balance. I'm gonna stretch up, elbows anchored, seat, leg, seat, leg, seat, leg, seat, leg, seat. Good boy. Good job, buddy. And there, of course I can let him stretch down. Now I'm gonna need to make him wait, wait, wait. Good boy. Wait, wait, wait. Good job. Whew. Good boy, so good. Yeah. Good. Close the knees, close the knees, sit and walk. Good boy. So, <laughs> couple of things to remember. Good boy. Celebrate the horse that he really feels proud about himself when he can open up and learn to run up the stairs, right? Like when we think about children, at first we crawl up the stairs, then we walk up one step at a time. You know, I step my right foot on the stair, my left follows. I put my right foot up on the stair, the left follows. Then we start to go right, left, right, left, right, left, up the stairs. Eventually, then we start to run up the stairs. We must run up the stairs before we learn to skip one step at a time, right? So it's like this process of just in like humans, there's just, you know, the baby crawls and then the baby stumbles around and then the baby walks, right? And it's like, when you think about what does that beautiful giant trot look like when he's like, whom, 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 you know, just really powering up through his body, right? That's a kid learning to jump up the stairs skipping one or two steps at a time. And the stronger the child gets, the more stairs they can skip, right? And so I hope you guys saw a big difference of first, he needed to run a little bit, right? I mean, Romeo knows it a little bit. So I will definitely add more videos in the academy for horses that are just learning it. But I wanted to, again, kind of talk over the aids and you can see the difference on a horse that knows it. You know, the first piece of this academy is first getting like a glossary term understanding and like, what are we talking about when we talk about road trot? Um, or, or, or how do you develop a medium trot? Like, how do I teach my horses to trot? Everybody sees my horses on the lunge line and they see them on an under saddle and they don't think it's the same horse. But it's because of that deep seated, correct gymnastic patient work that develops the horse into a much better mover than you could even imagine. And this road trot is part of that, right? Like we do ground pulls, we do haunches in, we do shoulder and we teach them rein back. We do canter, trot, trot, canter to swing the horse in the back. But then at some point you gotta like put your money where your mouth is and get going. Yeah.